If I can have your attention here in the media center, we are now joined by Kyle Larson, driver of the number 42 Target Chevrolet. Kyle, you've announced some big news this week, uh, getting ready to make a trip to Eldora, but you've, you're here at a racetrack where you've performed well in the past. Some exciting times for the 42, huh? Uh, yeah, um, excited about next week, but um, you know, first off, got to have a good weekend here. We struggled here last year. It was really good, you know, the, my first uh, season in Cup. But last year, <clears throat> this is probably our worst racetrack. So uh, not off to a good start here in practice. I thought, you know, we're off a little bit, but, you know, me as well. Um, this track's just tough for me. So, um, you know, look at some notes and stuff. And uh, Jamie's pretty quick, so I've um, been talking to him a little bit here after practice and trying to learn as much as I can. So uh, just hoping hoping for a good weekend. Uh, we've been getting closer and closer uh, in the points that, you know, getting you know, in position to make the chase. So just got to keep working hard, uh, be consistent, not have any uh, bad races, and hopefully can, you know, get there. Good deal. Well, let's open up the questions. If you have a question, we'll get a wireless microphone to you. We'll start with Claire B. Lang. Larry Lang, Sirius XM NASCAR Radio. With Dale Jr.'s news today, it really surprised a lot of people. What about as a driver? And what are your associations or thoughts about concussions for drivers, whether you've ever come close to getting one? Um, you know, it's just, uh, you know, hats off to Jr. For, for making that choice on his own, I guess, to uh, sit this weekend out um, and, and kind of work on getting himself better. Um, you know, cool opportunity for Alex Bowman. You hate to see it you know, be you of that nature. But, um, yeah, you know, NASCAR does a great job, you know, with, with making these cars safer and safer. Um, and, and as well as uh, you know, we have a, you know, some good doctors we can all go see um, if we are, you know, not feeling right. Um, you know, we have the impact test and things like that to make sure we're 100 percent. And uh, obviously he knew something was wrong and, um, you know, took the actions uh, upon himself to to go see, I guess, doctors and then, uh, you know, ultimately sit this weekend out. So hope he gets better soon. Uh, it's definitely, you know, weird to, to see somebody else in the 88 car. Um, but, you know, he'll be back, you know, quickly, I hope, and uh, can, you know, have a good rest of the year. Have you ever wrecked uh, I've wrecked a lot. I've wrecked a lot, for sure. I don't know if I've ever had, you know, an actual concussion. Um, I'm sure... We've all probably had minor ones. You probably had you know, minor ones yourself. So um, I don't know though. Uh, I, I know for for a fact I've never had a, a major concussion. So, um, but it's always something you gotta you know, keep an eye on. And um, you know, whenever whenever I've wrecked hard uh, in this NASCAR stuff, I've gone to take the impact test to make sure everything's right with me. So uh, just you know, safety is the number one thing for all of us racers. And um, you know, concussions has become a big deal here the last. You know, a few years. Questions for Kyle. Let's go to Bob and then to Mark. Uh, Bob Pockris, ESPN. Uh, next week at Eldora, you're, you're racing, and um, a lot of focus will be on you, but some of it will also probably be on Rico, considering he's racing there all weekend this weekend. How would you assess how he's doing in his first uh, year of trucks, and how, how long – would you expect it for it to really take for him to adapt to where you he feels like he can be, you know, top five, top ten, week in and week out? Yeah, you know, I, I uh, man, Rico, uh, he almost won Texas a, f a few weeks ago, so that was cool. So, um, you know, he and Rico, in the you know, he's only been racing for less than ten years. Uh, he's twenty four now. I think he started when he was sixteen. Um, it's always kind of taken him you know, a year or two to get, you know, things rolling uh, where he can be consistent and figure out how to win. But once he does, he's, you know, as good as it gets. Uh, you know, sprint cars, it took him three years probably. And now he's, you know, considered a favorite every time he goes to racetrack where, um, you yeah, know, I think it'll probably, he'll learn a lot throughout this year of truck racing. And, um, you know, hopefully by the end of the year, he'll be consistently in the top 10 and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, I think he was making... He was making a lot of improvements there uh, within himself and with his race team up until the fire at their shop. And, you know, now I think they've, you know, lost a lot of their trucks and stuff like that and, and resources and things. So uh, you've seen his performance kind of fall off a little bit here lately. Um, but I think once they get the shop all finished up and get some new trucks built, um, he'll be back to, 
you know, run up front. Um, you know, Texas was a, a cool one for him. I didn't think he'd get that close to winning a race that early in his, you know, truck career. Um, but, you know, the, uh, the mile and a halfs and stuff, you know, he's got a similar driving style to me. I, you know, I think, you know, I, I do better on mile and a halfs, uh, and Rico also does. So, um, he'll have some good tracks coming up for him here soon and hopefully can, you know, get a win or two. Go to Mark and then the Jim and then the Lee and then the Rich. Mark Carroll, PRN. You know, Kyle, once upon a time, these guys, you know, Mario Andretti and Rutherford and all these guys, AJ, they ran sprint cars during the week, jumped in Indy cars on the weekend. If you were in a sprint car, that's what you aspired uh, to do, run the Indy 500. Uh, when you started, did you have those aspirations, and do you hope maybe one day to, to be able to do the Indy 500? Well, uh, yeah, I, you know, I, I, love, I love racing any type of car, any day of the week. I don't get to do it a whole lot anymore. Um, but that's kind of what I did my whole career growing up, or at least, you know, in my bigger car racing. So from the time I was probably 15 on to now, I would just race anything I could any day of the week. I still race my go-kart every once in a while, you know, still get to run, you know, a handful of sprint car midget races. Um, and yeah, you know, I would love to run the Indy 500 someday. Um, you know, I probably needed to focus on, on the, the NASCAR stuff you know, more before I think about doing that, you know, I'm still winless in the cup series. And, uh, so I need to, need to probably accomplish that before I can do the Indy 500. But yeah, I would love to. And, and, you know, Chip has great Indy car equipment. Uh, those people, uh, or his guys that work on all that stuff, guys and gals that work on all that stuff do a really good job. They're always a favorite when they go to the Indy 500. Um, so hopefully, hopefully someday I can run the Indy 500. That's, you know, I think it's, you know, the biggest race in the world, um, you know, bigger than our Daytona 500, Brickyard 400, any of those races. So I uh, would love, would love to have the opportunity just to start that someday. Jim and then the Lee. Jim Noble with PRN and Sirius. This is going to be a fight throughout the summer for you to, to try to get into the chase. As time goes on, do you look back at the Dover race as any type of missed opportunity if this, if that were race were tomorrow or later in the season, would you race Matt Kenseth any differently, knowing how hard it is to qualify for this chase? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I I respect Matt a lot. Obviously, you know, had I moved him and got the win, you know, I'd be in the chase right now. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. I I felt like I raced him the way. I should race people in the way I want to be raced and the way I feel like Matt would have raced me. And I know Matt will race me like that from here on out. So um, I, I feel like I did the right thing. You know, yes, I'm working hard still to get in the chase, but um, you know, Matt Kenseth to me is, is one of the you know, cleanest, nicest, best race car drivers there is in the garage area. And uh, you know, I, like I said, I think I did the right thing. Go next to Lee, and then to Rich, and then right over here. Lee Spencer Motorsport.com. Um, it was unfortunate we didn't get to or hear from you on Tuesday at Indy, but just curious about what kind of stuff you tried with your car, how your car felt, um, what are your expectations for next Sunday's race? Yeah, I thought the Indy test went well. Um, the first day we struggled with being a little bit tight, I thought, uh, and then there at the very end of the day, um, even with the track kind of cooling down at the end, I, I thought we made some pretty big improvements. Um, and then the second day, uh, we were pretty good. Um, I think we had like the third fastest lap. Jimmy was really good. Uh, and then I was right there with Harvick. Um, long run stuff, I thought we were okay as well. So um, anytime we, anytime you go to a, a track to test, you know, spend a couple of days at test and you're always, or it seems like for us, we're always pretty good when we go back to a race. So. Um, I'm looking forward to, to the Brickyard. Uh, Indy's a, a cool track. Tough to pass, but it's it's fun, fun track. You know, lots of you know friends there from my USAC days. Uh, so I always look forward to it. We go to Rich, then to Dustin, and Lenny. Hi, Kyle. Rich Thompson, Boston Herald. Are you starting to get a better handle though on how to run this track, and uh, how are you working with Chad to address those issues? Um, well, I would say no, considering my stats. <laughs> You know, here in 2000, you know, 12, 13, and 14, uh, I was really good. This is probably my best statistical track, uh, 
you know, from Kane to Xfinity and, and then to Cup, you know, a second and a third in my first year. And then last year we were really, really bad. This was our worst track. And um, so I didn't have a ton of confidence coming into this, but, um, you know, practice, you know, we didn't get a whole lot of laps, but uh, practice didn't go great for us in our 42 team. But we made a, a race run there at the end, and, and I thought we got better, um, decent lap times, qualifying trim. We were we were way off, um, but uh, and it's just a tough track. It's you know, it's like a big Martinsville. I know I ran good at Martinsville earlier this year, but I'm not normally good there. So um, <clears throat> I don't know. It's like I said, it's just tough. It's different than a lot of the racetracks we go to, and just gotta work hard at. Uh, you know, getting better. You know, I think since NASCAR has killed the horsepower, that's kind of what's hurt me the most here. Uh, you know, rolling momentum and stuff like that. So I just got to get, get got to get a little better on my end, probably more so than the car. Dustin. Uh, Dustin Albino, front stretch. Uh, Kyle, I asked you something similar following the Dover race. Um, now that you've put together a good stretch of races, um, do you feel like the organization's turned the corner? Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, when we had those couple good races, you know, I think Kansas, Dover, around that time, um, we had made a lot of changes, you know, prior to that. Um, didn't really know if, if our cars were that much better or if we just got lucky or whatever. And uh, it seems like, you know, now we're pretty competitive each weekend. So, um, yeah, I, th I think they've part, we've partly turned the corner. You know, we still have a long ways to go uh, to be, you know, consistently contending for, you know, top, eights or so top five top eight finishes but uh it's a lot better than when we started the year we were we were hoping for top 20s i felt like you know at least within myself so um you know we we've definitely gotten our stuff way quicker uh better on the long run still still got to work on the long run stuff you know last week you could see that we were good short run stuff but long runs we were bad um but yeah, you know it's 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 fun now to be you know showing up the racetrack knowing that you're going to be somewhat competitive. And uh, early in the year, I, I was not excited to be at the racetrack, so um, it's been fun now. Uh, just got to keep working hard. Finish up with Lenny in the back. A lens manager at a recent news. So when you uh, satellite race with your sprint car in the midget and whatnot, do you have to get permission from Ganassi and whatnot to do that? And with, in light of uh, Dale's injury, does that? Turn the heat up on it a little bit more. I know you got Knoxville coming up too. Um, yeah, I mean, I definitely have to get permission. Uh, I give them a list of of races um, early in the year that I want to run. Obviously, that stuff kind of changes. You know, if rainouts happen, then I can you know, run a different one or something like that. Yeah, you know, I try to only run, or at least this year, I'm trying to only run about 20, 25, um, and I'm already almost to that. So, um, I don't know. I mean, it's not like Dale got hurt in a sprint car, so I don't think that that matters. Um, but obviously, you know the uh, the thoughts always there. I'm sure on Chip's end of you know, me getting injured uh, or something like that. But you know, to me, I, I don't think about any like, anything like that when I'm out there racing. Uh, if I if I was worried about getting hurt, I wouldn't do it. Um, and I and, I, and if I was worried about it and I was racing still, uh, I probably wouldn't be very competitive. Um, so I. I just try and have fun when I go do that stuff. Um, you know, looking forward to the nationals. Um, yeah, I got to run a couple times. Uh, we've we've been really good there, or we've been really good in the sprint car whenever I ran this year. So tough race though, um, but hopefully we can get a hopefully we can get a win on the Cub Series before we go there, so we don't have to worry about anything crazy happening. Well, good luck, Kyle, and uh, best of luck the rest of the weekend. Thank you. Yeah.